This video supported in part by... Playing VR, I tend to sweat. It gives me an edge. The King of Nerds happens to give me an edge, too. Let King of Nerds give you the edge. Bye, King of Nerds. If you've been following along with this story, then you probably know by now that back on the day after Christmas, my arcade started leaking some images of some forthcoming hardware devices that were coming to market. They were even prompting people, what do you think it could be? What do you think it means? And we figured out pretty quickly it was a collaboration with Atari. And they verified that right away. And then both Atari and my arcade started leaking even more stuff. Well. So as I record this, it's the day before CES 2023. You're watching it on the day of the beginning of CES 2023. That's the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, where my arcade will be initially showcasing, or has now in your timeline, started to officially showcase these new products. I was fortunate enough to, through my contact at my arcade, obtain the images that you will be seeing coming out of CES today. Now, we're going to take a look at these and analyze them together. What I don't have right now is any sort of specifications. I don't know, like size of screen or size of memory or games included or things like that. But together, there's a lot that we can look at and speculate. And it's kind of the culmination or the beginning of the culmination of all of this speculation we've been doing over the last couple of weeks. So let's get into it. There's three images to look at. We're going to dig into. They're all cool. They're cool. cool cooler and coolest. So let's begin then with this pocket player. Now this probably has the least amount of necessary speculation. It's a pocket player. We have seen them from my arcade before. Traditionally, they MSRP for about $34.99, right at 35 bucks. And this one looks to be exactly like the same mold and everything. It has those uh, Pong colors to represent kind of the early Atari aesthetic. And you have two buttons, A and B, and you have the little uh, circular D-pad over on the side, a home and a start button up on, up on top there. I think historically those were reset and start or something anyway. Now, this one is styled very much like the Atari 2600. And it even says video computer system. So my expectation is that this handheld pocket player is going to strictly be an Atari 2600 emulator machine. Now, this is not the first time we've seen one of these. Blaze Electronics put one out some time ago. They put a couple of them out, actually, and I've reviewed them here on the channel. I'll throw a link up in the corner if you want to see one of those. The question for me is going to be, is it going to have an SD card slot? So you can put your own ROMs on there and play more and more and more Atari games. That would be uh, that would be a great, uh, a, a great just clinch this product because this is kind of a me too if it doesn't have an SD card slot. Uh, I'm very curious to see the, uh, I do like the build of the pocket players. So I'm excited to see what they do. The buttons feel good, the D-pad feels good. So it's probably gonna be the best piece of hardware that has been a purpose built Atari 2600 emulator. So put the SD card slot and I think that'll make it a real winner. Okay, let's move along to the next one that it was pretty clear from some of the early images that there was probably going to be a micro player. Now, here's the micro player they showed. Like the pocket player, this also has that Pong aesthetic. It also has uh, the grilled top, like the top of a 2600. And even the joystick over in the corner has the, uh, the, the dashed orange lines around it. Now, a big question for any sort of Atari 2600 emulation is going to fall to how you handle the difficulty switches and the black and white switch. So everybody knows the controller had just a single four-way joystick and a fire button. Um, but Atari emulation usually falls short when they don't have a way to handle difficulty switches, which in some games or part of the game or color black and white switch, which you look at like a Star Master or something where that goes color black and white switch wasn't for color black and white, that was for going to your star map or back. So there are many pieces of hardware that say they do Atari emulation, but without easy access to those extra switches, hmm, I don't know. Well, let's look back at the image then. And what we see is, well, I mean, you can see some stuff. So I can see that there's an A, B and a C button. I mean, I look, so we definitely need just one button. You could wonder, well, there's going to be more on here than just Atari 2600 stuff. But why would it look exactly like a 2600 in, you know, the joystick design and the, the, the grill work on the control deck? 
Why three buttons? Are B and C gonna be like difficulty toggles or something? I don't know. Also, I want you to note that down on the front where it would be the knee board of an arcade machine is a little button that looks like it has a light bulb on it. So is that maybe brightness of the screen or mm, I don't know. And there's another little hole over here. I don't know if it's a hole or button. It looks like a hole. I don't know what that's about. We don't have any images yet to show the back of the images. Now there were some pre-release leaks that showed this very unit but it wasn't this render. It wasn't the final, final. It just had two buttons. It showed the back, you know, more like the old micro players. This to me looks more like the Data East collection or the Namco collection. This is not a regular uh, micro player. This just looks to be one of those taller units. So again, how does it handle 2600 emulation? If that's assuming what's on there, I see missile command on it and it is the 2600 missile command. And is there an SD card slot? Can I expand this to run more Atari ROMs? Okay, let's move along to what is probably the most different, the most exciting, the most, the most kind of, <laughs> the thing that we weren't seeing coming. This is not another Me Too product. This is, and the image by the way, that comes to me is labeled Atari console. So look at this thing. These are all the pieces that we looked at. There's that joystick that we analyzed. It's clear that it has an A button. It has a B button on top of the joystick. It's a big bat top joystick, by the way. And we know from the other images that there's a C trigger on the back of these joysticks. Down on the handle of the joystick that you hold, there are three buttons. We can only see two in the early images, home, select, and start. We can see that ring of color around the joystick and the chamfered edges. It, it, I mean, this black and gray looks, I think it looks gorgeous. I'm guessing it's, it's just a heavy plastic. I can't wait to see what kind of weight it has to get it in my hand. Now let's talk about the console. This was the unit that we're like, could this be a base unit for a plug and play? What could it be? So the first thing I want you to notice is these two giant buttons that are labeled power and home. In the original renders that we were looking at uh, some days ago, the round button actually was like a reset button, like a refresh, like a circular arrow. And that's been changed in the final version. So we have here a power and a home, possibly the same home that's going on over on uh, the, the joystick itself. But the question is, what's on this console? And I, look, that's information I don't have yet. As soon as I do, a follow-up is coming. So be sure you're subscribed to Gen X Grown Up if you aren't already. I see two USB-C ports down here on the front of it as well. So is that for USB-C to like micro HDMI or is that USB-C to charge the controllers? Although we've seen battery ports on the bottom of the controller, if that render was to be believed. And the entire console appears to be very, very thin. It's this rectangular block. Uh, it has a nice chrome side over there with the Atari logo on it, manufactured by My Arcade. The big question, what is in this? It's the, the art design is very much inspired by later Atari. And we're talking like 2600 Junior, 5200, 7800. It has a little bit of that grill work, but it has the rainbow that we saw in later stuff. We're talking like post 84, 85, you know, into the early 90s. Could this be? Could this be an answer to something we've been looking for for a long time? Look, we got plenty of 2600 stuff already. We got the pocket player, we got the micro player. Could this console run the much, like kind of left in the dust consoles from Atari? Like this needs to be, I'm hoping, I'm hoping. Look, put 2600 stuff on it, fine. 5200, 7800, Lynx, Jaguar. Now I don't see all the necessary buttons on the joystick. I don't know what's gonna be in this. By the time you watch this, that information is probably leaking out from CES. And that's why a follow-up is gonna be coming very quickly. Uh, but right now, as I look at this, I'm very hopeful for what could be coming in this little console. We were very excited about the VCS, which ended up being a small computer that was a platform for like indie games and you could run some classic stuff on it. This almost looks at a glance, if someone were to show me this cold, I would say this would be like what I would have hoped the VCS would have been a couple of years ago, which is a little box designed to play all of my Atari stuff, make it expandable, make it, uh, make it affordable and make it easy to play. And it looks like what I've got is a console that's just a few inches wide. I've got a couple of controllers that look great. It's got an art style that I like. Man, there's, there is a lot to unpack in these images. And the reality is all we've got right now is images. 
you're already hearing more than I am because I'm in the past recording this and you are on the day as information is leaking out. So please start sharing the information that you're hearing in the comments down below. There will be a follow up on each of these units as we learn more about them. And of course, we're going to get them here on the table at Gen X Grown Up and doing full reviews of all three of these products as they become available. Boy, I'm out of breath. There's so much to, uh, to talk about and think about and study in the coming days. Please, please, please be sure to subscribe to Gen X Grown Up. Many more updates coming. I'll throw some uh, video links here and there. As I've been following this story, you can see where we've been. I sure hope you enjoyed something in this video, though, and I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.